it's Susla and welcome to probably one of the first videos on this channel since it's been revamped. Uh, today I'm going to be doing the Pokemon tag. So we have 50 questions and I'm just going to open them up now. So let's start the Pokemon tag questions. Question number one. Who is your favourite Pokemon? Currently that's Sudowoodo. Um, I was playing, I can't remember which game, on <laughs> my DS like forever ago and I got Sudowoodo and I just nicknamed him Mr. Twee and I've just loved it and we just, uh, me and my husband used to make jokes about Mr. Twee all the time and just be like, Miss, and like he died in a battle or something and I was like, no, Mr. Twee! So that's why he's my favourite. This is just stuck and I am dying to get a Sudowoodo like plush um, toy. Now it's a bunch of questions about types of Pokemon, like all the, your favourite of each type. All the types aren't on there, um, I didn't write the questions, so take it up with whoever did. So favourite fire type Pokemon, I've put Cyndaquil, it was very very close between a few but Cyndaquil made the final because he's just so cute. Oh. Favourite ice Pokemon, Articuno. Um, because, I mean, have you seen Articuno? It's just so badass and looks so like sleek and awesome and just, oh, I just love it. Favourite grass Pokemon? I know this is quite an unpopular opinion from what I'm aware, but I really love Chikorita. It's just something about Chikorita just makes me like really happy and I just think that it's adorable. And the little leaf on its head, it's just, oh, yes. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? Oh, I'm so excited! I'm fangirling, aren't I? Oh god, I'm fangirling. Favourite poison type Pokemon is Oddish, and this was one of the ones that made a close cut with the grass type, but it didn't, so I found it on poison type, <laughs> and I was like, yes, you are in my poison types, because Oddish is freaking adorable, and the purple, and the green, and I know, I should probably be choosing choosing these things from just a sheer adorableness, but what can I say? I don't think I'd battle Pokemon. I think I'd be a Pokemon coordinator more than um, a trainer. Battles with the Pokemon. You know what I'm gonna go. A uh, favorite normal type Pokemon is Snorlax, just because I could just happily just turn him into a bed for me. I'd just sleep on his belly all the time. Favorite flying type is Lugia. If you haven't seen the Pokemon movie with Lugia in, then you probably won't understand why, but I just love that song. And like the idea of like riding around on Lugia and how like powerful he is. It's he or it, I don't really know. Um just makes me like so excited and fangirly. Favourite dark type Pokemon is Zura. I can't pronounce half of these names properly, but I will be putting pictures down in the link so you'll know. Favourite steel type Pokemon is Jirachi. Favourite fighting type Pokemon is Panchem because I just love pandas. Pandas are like the greatest little cute fluffy things that if they're growing up could probably rip your head off that I've ever seen. So yes, panda wins the day. Favourite ground type Pokemon is Sandshrew. I think out of all the ground type Pokemon, this has been like my favourite ground type one from like the first generation. It's just stuck. I've not really had any that have come close to um, me liking them more than Sandro. Favourite bug type Pokemon is Butterfree because it's just so graceful and a little butterfly. Ah! Favourite water type Pokemon, I literally could not decide. I even went on the Pokedex online and I looked through all the water Pokemon and I was just like, which do I like best? Which do I like best? And I could not decide out of so many different water Pokemon and just, ah. It's safe to say that I would definitely be a, I would be a water type Pokemon coordinator. My uh, Pokemon world job's getting pretty specific now. My favourite psychic type Pokemon is Mew because all that power in such a cute little body and it's just like Mew, Mew, Mew and I'm like ah and it's like Mew and I'm 
I'm like, yes, be mine. Did you know that there are so many types of Pokemon? Yes, and there is definitely more than has been addressed in these questions. Which Pokemon scares you the most? Groudon, just because like the colours are quite intimidating, the red and the black, and just like it kind of seems like a big scary giant thing. I wouldn't want to mess with it. Have you ever had a dream or nightmare about Pokemon? Yes, I've had so, so many. Um, I can't actually think of any off the top of my head, it's been a while since I've had one, but yes, I've had lots and lots of Pokemon related dreams and a couple of Pokemon related nightmares. What do you think of the new black and white Pokemon? I think they're stretching, like, just Pokemon a bit too thin, like the ideas they're coming up with is kind of like, really, really, <laughs> like the names, but um, I think if I spent some time watching the anime of black and white and playing the games, that I would probably, like, a few of the Pokemon will grow on me. Which Pokemon is the cutest? Oh my god, um... I, I, this is a hard question. So many of them are really cute. If I have to choose one, just like off the top of my head, I would say Eagleybuff. Because it's just a little ball of cute pinkness with a little tufty thing on the top and the big eyes. <laughs> Pokemon are freaking adorable. A Zangoose invades your home, what do you do? That's already happened to me, funnily enough, <laughs> in the real life and everything. Uh, I gave him my firstborn child. Here's a picture. You're in the park and a lily pup walks up to you and whimpers be hungry. What do you do? I would give it some food and then walk away before it asked me for some more food. I'm not a massive lily pup fan to be honest, so... I wouldn't want to be like sticking around feeding it and have it follow me around asking me for food all the time. You're drowning in water, who would you want more to help you? A floatzer or Lady Hydra? I said a floatzer because I feel like they'd be more helpful. You arrive to school or college and see that there is a ratata in your backpack. How would you react? I would try and catch it because I think they're quite cool, slightly annoying, but I would rather catch it than have it go away and come back again. You find a small group of Nidoran living in your basement, how do you react? I would smile because it's freaking Pokemon in my freaking basement and also I have a house that has a basement, score! And then I would make everything as nice for them as possible while soundproofing because those things will make a lot of noise and I want to sleep at night time. And sometimes in the day, if I'm feeling tired, you know how it is. You see a Dratini sleeping in your bed, what do you do? I would go and lay next to it and go to sleep with a big smile on my face because I love Dratini. A Mincino is hungry and it begs for food from you, what do you do? I would feed it and make friends with it and hopefully become its trainer because I love them, they're so cute, and I just want to give them food and make them happy, and oh my god, I love Pokemons, and they're all cute, and I just want them all, I want to catch them all. I wanna be the very best, but no one ever was. A drilber wants to race you. You are running on land, and him digging underground, do you accept? Hell no. I'll travel across the land. Searching far and wide. A Vulpix is snuggled up in your bed sleeping. Do you let it sleep or do you kick it out? Let it sleep. I don't want to disturb the equal Vulpix. You are fishing and you catch a fish. Then you see a hungry Oshawott. Would you give the fish to him? Yes, I would because I'm a nice person. Do you know that you have 20 more questions left? So many questions. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Yep. 
if you find a Pikachu in your pile of clothes, what do you do? Well, it's obviously confused because of my onesie. So I would be its new Pika fam, obviously. See a Piplup in your freezer. What do you do? I would take it out and warm it up the whole thing. I just want to hug it. No bubbles for me. Don't be amazing. We can be friends. I just want to be friends with all the Pokemon guys. I think I have a problem with cute Pokemon. They're just my weakness. A Squirtle wants to swim in your pool or lake. Do you allow him to do so? Um, yes, of course. This little guy finds a very precious item to me in the water. How do I thank him? I would do a little dance and give him a rare candy and the dance would be kind of like this. Just to amuse him, you know. Like, thank you, have some laughter. What are you doing with my life? Can you guess how long it took to write this tag? I guess about three hours? Oh, mm -hmm. You find a clam pearl. Do you take its pearl? No, it can keep it. I'm no thief. A Lickitung wants some food. Do you give it some? Yes, but only on the condition that it then leaves without any licking involved. You are caught in a lightning storm and a Blitzel offers to protect you from the lightning bolts that may or may not appear. Do you accept? and give him something in turn, and if so, what do you give him? No, I wouldn't accept. I would take him to somewhere sheltered so that we could both be protected. You accidentally step on a panko and it gets mad at you. What do you do? Run. Run away before it blows up. Do you know that you only have 10 more questions left? Those last 10 some questions went really quick. You are wandering in the desert and come to a small oasis. You see a panpaw. How do you ask it for to, what? How do you ask for it to give you a spray of water to quench your thirst for water? This question's badly written. I wouldn't, probably, if we're in an oasis to send water anyway, I could just take that and leave it, for the most part, undisturbed. A giant Snorlax blocks you from entering your house. How do you move it? I don't. I would climb on its tummy and have a little nap until it was ready to wake up anyway. <laughs> on its own. A Piduff keeps gnawing you with its Piduff cry. It sounds a little something like this. Do you ask it to stop or do you take action? And if so, what do you do? I would take action. I would send out some electric Pokemon to tell it to stop. Are you ready for questions about legendary Pokemon? Yeah. You see a Reshiram appear in front of you and it releases a mighty roar. How would you react? I would freeze up and hope to all hell that it does not kill me. A Deli bird offers you food. Do you accept it? Yes. Yeah, I never say no to free food. An Entei appears in front of you and doesn't seem hostile. Do you pet it or do you run away? I would slowly approach it to pet it, but I would try and make sure, any way I could, that it was okay with me petting it first. Pika pika you, pika pika! A Zekron offers to zap five of your enemies for you. What five people would you choose? That's my little secret. I'm not going to tell you that. There's honestly not five people that I would ask to be zapped. Maybe like three. Latios and Latias challenge you to a race. Do you accept? Nope. Nope. And uh, just nope. 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 That was pretty fun to fill out. On a scale of one to ten, ten being really bad, how bad do you want me to make more questions? Five? That was my Pokemon tag questions video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. 
and leave a comment down below of what videos you'd like to see next or your answers to any of these questions. And I'm very sorry if I mispronounced any of the Pokemon names, but you were forewarned at the start of the video. My hands are moving, my hands are moving, papi papi. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. You can do so just here. And I'll leave it there for you. And um, if you are enjoying the channel revamp, then make sure that you come back every single Saturday for another video. Some of them will be nerdy, some of them will be parenty, some of them will be arts and crafty. So just make sure you tune in. Bye! Pika! Bye! So let's start the Pokemon happy inside, I don't know. What am I doing with my hands? In this quiz, time questions. Question. So as Excuse me. Are you one of the Um Um score. Well, but no, 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 do not get lost.